afternoon everyone. This is Professor Dan Jenkins from Steel Camel. We're down here in Tampa, Florida today. We're at a company called Total Outdoor Maintenance. And as you can see, they have big trucks. And in the springtime, what happens is we get lots of rain, we get lots of condensation, and guess what? You end up with cloudy diesel. The problem with cloudy diesel is it makes your engine run hard, you get black smoke, and it's very hard to start. So what you want is clean, pristine, clear diesel to make everything go that way. So one way to go from here to here is with the Steel Camel water absorbing sock. They will, over time, remove the water from your fuel tank and you pull it out and we're gonna show you a little bit more. So now that you've seen a little bit about our camel tail and how they work, I'm going to talk to you about our different sizes and different applications. This little guy, just about three inches long, only gets about one ounce of water. But for those of you who want to test to see if you have water in your tank, you can drop these down and come back four or five days later. If it's puffed up, you got water. And we want to get that water out. So our next size we want to talk about is our real popular is our 23 inch. And this is two inches wide and each one of these hold up to about six inches of water. We have these in two inch wide for three inch caps. We have them in one inch wide for two inch caps. So when you make a decision, you have to go out and check your cap diameter to make sure you can get it in and out. So again, these are for heavy equipment, cranes, bulldozers, um, anything that has a, a you know, 30 or 50, 20 gallon tank, 80 gallon tank, Sometimes you drop one or two of them, and these are quite popular. And again, it comes with a nice rope, and this thing right here is called a slip ring, and so it doesn't fall into your tank and you can tie it up. So we have a lot of those. The next one I wanna show you is, we've had this out for about a year. This is our uh, um, two 23 inch uh, socks on a, on a stick. Why would you wanna put it on a stick? because there's a lot of people who have generators and belly tanks, or they have equipment where they can't get the sock all in the way. So we devised this kind of a special stick and you can put it in and you can uh, flex it however way you want it to get the water out. Very popular, particularly with the generator folks, belly tanks. The next sock we have is our six footer. These are for 100 gallon tanks, 250 gallon tanks, a lot of farmers, a lot of rural people who's generator or fuel tank sits outside they get condensation they need a little more power so you drop two or six footers in there and again it doesn't happen overnight but within four to five days you'll see it start puffing up and we will grab the water and, and save your fuel system so you don't have to pump it out some other ones include we have eight footers and nine footers depending on your application so whether you have a small tank 20 gallon 50 gallon 100 gallon 200 gallon 500 gallon, 1,000 gallon tank, Steel Camel has the sock for you. Now that you've seen the sizes and some of the applications for the Steel Camel water absorbing sock called Camel Tail, we're gonna give you a little demonstration how to apply it. But before I do that, I wanna show you another cool feature we have in our socks. You can't see it, but there's little weights. Sometimes they're fishing weights or balls or nuts or screws in there, and they help it sink to the bottom. So what you do is you take the cap off, Center it up, drop it in, give yourself plenty of rope, put it back on. Just like that. So another question we get here at Steel Camel about our water, water absorbing socks is, can we reuse it? In a nutshell, the answer is no, okay? Once this thing swells up, it's pretty much done. Yes, you could lay it out in the hot sun. Yes, you could dry it in your shed and it will slowly shrink down. It may take three weeks, it may take a month to shrink down. And yes, you can reuse it, but there's a law of diminishing returns and it won't be as effective. So we recommend just chuck it, throw it away, or if it's not all the way puffed up, put it in a bag, put it in your shed, and when you need an emergency, you can certainly use it again. Again, you will not get as much efficacy out of it. So now that you've seen some of the applications, you've seen some of the sizes, 
you got to make a couple more determinations to help you get the water out with the camel tail absorbing sucks. First, how big is your tank? Is it 30 gallons, 50 gallons, 100 gallons, 200 gallons, 500 gallons, 1,000 gallons? So first make that decision. Next, how much water do you think you have in there? Is it super cloudy or is it water just on the bottom? You're going to have to make that decision. And you could also send us pictures if you need to. And the third decision you have to make is how big is the opening? If you have a three inch opening, you need a two inch wide sock. If you have a two inch opening, you need a one inch wide sock. So once you have that, we can help you make decisions on which camel tail to buy. Below, we'll leave a description, the link to our website page and our website shopping page. Also, you can visit us at www.steelcamel.com or give us a call at 813-877-4665. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Dan or Professor Dan from Steel Camel, Tampa, Florida. Thank you.